the line for Matt. Uh, first off, congratulations. I don't think that eighth place really shows how well you ran most of this race. And I think that's kind of what I want to talk about. Uh, what did you guys feel like maybe you were missing in the last couple of restarts to get back up there? Because I know you were running top five through so much of the first two thirds of the race and it just looked like it faded a little bit late on in there. Yeah, honestly, um, we got the, the truck handling quite a bit better for the last 50 laps of the race. Um, at, at that point in time, uh, we just got kind of stuck back in traffic and um, just really couldn't get back to clean air, and, and that's really where we kind of lost some our ground. Then and, uh, we just kept, kept getting stuck on the bottom on the restarts, and um, it just can't roll that well on the backstretch here. Uh, I think that's probably the most you know, ground we lost there was just uh, getting trapped on the bottom and just getting uh, stuck in traffic. Chris Mike Kitchen, talking Matt, your first weekend with Kyle Busch Motorsports of the season. How would you grade your performance overall from start to finish? You know, it, it's tough to put a grade on it. Uh, there's definitely room for improvement by me. Um, you know, the, the the cars or the trucks that we have here are, are really, really fast, and the Toyota Care Tundra was no no different tonight. Um, you, you know, the, my biggest uh, area of improvement for sure is just uh, getting around um, cars in traffic and making passes better and, and quicker for sure. Uh, just just finding clean air. Um, like I said, the last 30 laps, I really felt like I made some huge gains with that. Um, so uh, overall, you know, I'm, I'm glad that we could uh, we could fight with those guys at the end. I thought we like we had some really strong and competitive restarts towards the end of the race, but uh, definitely a little bit of room for improvement by me. But uh, we got got a truck back in one piece, and we can go work on it. And for Eric, um, how do you put tonight's disappointment, in, in a sense, behind you and focus on Sunday at Iowa? Got to have a short memory as a race car driver. All right, we'll go upstairs to the press box and then back down here to Stan. LaceSpencerMotorsport.com. Eric, um, you figured out what case he was doing. You had a good spot of where to get him. Where was his weakness on the racetrack? Uh, he fired off really good pretty much everywhere, and uh, as the run went on, he'd start to get tight off a of two, especially on exit, um, not so much off a of four, but I knew if I could get to the top uh, and one and two on that 10-lap run before that I would be able to clear him, he'd have to lift or, or basically run into me. So uh, we got a good run off a of four, and I got up next to him on the straightaway and, and was able to pinch him down and, and force him to lift through one and two. But um, he was really fast on a short run, and um, fortunate for him, it came down to a short run, and he was able to pull out ahead. But, you know, we were fast on a short run, too. It just, just wasn't quite enough. Um, I really thought the bottom was the way, to, or the top was the way to go, and we stuck with it, and uh, I still think it's the way to go if I could do it all over again. And I don't know if it was your spotter or Rudy who said during the course of the race, KB told you to look at something. Um, what was he referring to that that uh, Kyle wanted you to look at? Was he giving you more information or something? Uh, we were just talking a little bit about side draft and then, um, you know, how to kind of use it more to our advantage. And, and, and we were, and, you know, it was just him watching and um, throwing in some feedback. All right, we'll go to Stan and then finish up in the back. Stan Creekmore again with our PMTonight.com. Eric, you're 18 years old. Do, 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 do you also take in... The, the, the fact that you're showing experience that most people don't see until a driver is closer to, to 30 years old? Yeah, it's, uh, it's really hard to see past the red of finishing second, you know, and that close to these kind of times. And, um, you know, there's times I'm sure I'll look back in, uh, in a day or two and, and, and feel like an idiot for acting the way I did and um, wish I would have just taken it in deeper and, and enjoyed the second place run to a Cups driver. And um, it's hard to remember that sometimes, and it's hard to remember what we're here doing. And I, I just uh, I want to win so bad, it's hard to forget that sometimes, and it's hard to run second. Uh, Kyle Magda, Race Chase Run Line. Eric, um, 200 miles under your belt tonight at Charlotte. You'll be running the Xfinity race next week. Um, what were some of the things you learned tonight that you could apply to for next weekend? You know, it's it's going to be a lot different race. Uh, we're going to be racing in the day, so there's going to be a lot of things different. But, uh, you know, I just figured out some line stuff and hopefully some things I can take over to the Xfinity side um, with making passes and, and running the top and moving around. And uh, I learned a few things there. Um, so hopefully it will help out next next uh, next Friday here 
uh, running around and trying to find clean air and making passes. So I, I felt like uh, I learned some line things, maybe some few things in the truck that I can transfer over, but uh, they're pretty far apart. They're hard to, hard to uh, really relate the two. Yeah, and Dover coming up in two weeks, and the truck series will be there next. Um, what do you? Th what are your thoughts about that place? Uh, not never turning a lap there, and um, what are you uh, going to uh, try to apply for that race as well um, when you go to Dover here in a few weeks? Uh, I think uh, I'll lean on Kyle for some information, and uh, you know I know we'll have another fast tundra. Um, I hope we can. Uh, I hope we can bring one home there. We. We've been so close to that win all year, and it's 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 a bummer we haven't got two in a row now the last couple of weeks, but. Uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll bring another fast tundra there. They won there last year with Kyle, and I feel like we'll uh, we'll be able to contend for a win there as well this year. All right, Matt and Eric, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks.